Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're taking a look at another Ghostbusters collectible. As you can see, this is the Ghostbusters Ready to Believe You Peter Venkman for the Adult Collector. <clears throat> this is from MattyCollector.com. Let me go ahead and bring this down just a bit. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, got the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in the background there. Got the Ghostbusters logo up top, and I'm, I'm liking that. I like how they imprinted it into the actual package. Uh, it is cardboard in there, but they actually pushed it, did the uh, mold around it, and then put the cardboard in it. That looks really nice. I might actually keep that. Um, we have the uh, zombie taxi cab driver. Um, and we got two terror dogs there on the cover. And this Peter Venkman does come with the camcorder and the uh, air pressure device. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Personnel file. Peter Venkman. Doctor of Parapsychology and Doctor of Psychology. Uh, Ghostbuster status. Possibly a, legitimate, possibly a legitimate scientist. Ghost torturer. Quotable quotes, have you or any of your family seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Habits, accomplished pianist in the two-finger song category. May not be lucky with women, but persistent. Totally self-assured, yet completely overconfident. Accomplishments, hung the Ghostbusters sign on the firehouse. Self-appointed supervisor for Janine. Uh, notes, office supplies, cologne, Hair gel, breast spray. Remember to clean desk. <laughs> and at the bottom there it says 6 inch and 12 inch Ghostbusters figures available on MattyCollector.com. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and uh, open the box and take a look at the figures. Alright, so first things first. Inside the package we have a little... Uh, Little card. Ghostbusters the video game for Xbox 360, PlayStation, Xbox Live, Nintendo DS, Wii, Blu-ray disc, three-way, Atari, whatever. I want to get that. That looks cool. I know it looked, it's more than likely just like the uh, other one, but I'm a Ghostbusters collector, so... Sorry about that, guys. There's that. Then, 25th anniversary Ghostbusters available now for the first time on Blu-ray High Definition. Includes all new special features, slime mode, picture-in-picture, Ecto-1 restoration, and more. I may have to get that. I know it's about uh, 10 years late, but uh, I gotta get that. <laughs> All right, so we have here one Peter Venkman. And as you can see from the box here, and yes, I did actually start cutting into it before I realized that you could peel away the edges, but oh well. <clears throat> that Ghostbusters logo, it's imprinted, it's molded on here as well. And just take it out like that. Probably stick it somewhere. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and take these guys out of the package. It does appear that the camera is held in there by a couple rubber bands. So be careful with that. Right. Let 
Uh, this one. There we go. Dr. Venkman is out. And <clears throat> the cabbie is now out. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the cabbie first. Pretty cool. Does have arm articulation. It's on a ball joint and hinge. Uh, his head, it does move, but it's tight at first. There we go. And this part does swivel. Okay. Um, turns a little bit at the torso, but not much. The wrists are on a swivel. Very cool. And the detail is really awesome. It reminds me of Kane from Poltergeist, the face from Poltergeist 2. You guys, you guys have seen that, right? Kane, the uh, head ghost, looks a lot like him. I always thought that if they did a uh, really dark and gritty Batman movie, they should design the Joker to resemble Kane from the Poltergeist, too. I think that'd be cool. So anyway, he comes with... We have Dr. Peter Venkman here. Comes with the uh, air pressure device. And yes, that is what they were. Te he was testing in uh, Dana Barrett's apartment. Was the air pressure? Just like this. Pretty good. Uh, his foot is on a hinge, a slight hinge. Uh, his pants kind of block it from moving too much. All right, you got knee hinge. You've also got a swivel at the thigh on both sides. Um, he does have a waist swivel. Um, as you can see, elbow is on a hinge uh, his hand does articulate it is on a peg it looks like Put that back in his hand um, there is a swivel at the bicep um, a ball joint a hinged ball joint at the shoulder and his head is on a swivel. Pretty cool. Now, one of the problems, though, is this camera. If he's using this device, the air pressure gauge... Aim this back down a minute. There we go. If he's using the air pressure gauge, he can't really hold his camera and it doesn't really come with the strap yeah it doesn't really come with a strap so the camera fits in his hand just like that And then you just gotta kind of let the uh, air pressure thing hang. But I really like the sculpt on this guy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Peter Venkman in 
full Ghostbusters uniform for comparison. Um, it does look like this one's a little bit taller. Maybe a whole head length taller. Um, and it's mainly because his neck, his neck is a lot longer than it should be. And his torso is a little bit longer than it should be too. Um, remember, Peter Venkman is kind of, kind of an average height, not really tall, but not really short either. Um, so I really think they might have used Egon's body for all three. Uh, I could be wrong, um, because Egon was the taller, slender of the three, and they did do three figures in this mold uh peter egon and ray and i believe each of them came with a different ghost um so i think they might have just used egon's body for all three of them uh, because this peter really should be about the same height as this peter and now let's go ahead and take out the handy dandy tape measure and we'll go ahead and see the height this is about six inches on this one about just a little bit under six inches on this one and then the cab ghost if i can get him to stay is about five and a half inches so Five and a half, uh, five and three quarters, and six. So there you have it, guys. This was the Maddie Collector. Ready to believe you, Peter Venkman for the Adult Collector. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.